Over the next several weeks, we're going to dive into this whole idea of are you showing up in your business and what that looks like and some things I really want you to consider and take to heart when it comes to showing up in your business. And you're probably like, yeah, I'm showing up, showing up. I'm taking pictures of my clients. What are you talking about? Am I showing up? Over the next few weeks, we're really going to dive into this whole idea of showing up in your business in a three-part series. And as we walk through these three separate parts, I really want you and I'm going to challenge you to take some time to actually sit down and journal a little bit about these ideas and see really honestly where you're at. And I want you to be honest with yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Don't say, yeah, I'm doing the thing. I'm showing up if you're not. I want you to really take a deep look at this whole idea with me. So I want to take a few minutes first. I want to ask you. And this would be a great time to pull out a piece of paper or your journal or to pull over on the side of the road and write this down so you don't forget it to come back if you're listening to this while driving down the road. But really, if I say to you, hey, are you showing up in your business right now? What would you honestly say if you are being truthful with yourself and truthful with me right here? Do you know what showing up in your business looks like? Do you even know? how to begin to show up in your business. And after you take some time to really dig into this and think about this and do a little bit of journaling about this whole idea, I'm going to ask you a second question. Are you showing up for yourself? Because chances are, if you're not showing up for your business and in your business, you're probably really not showing up for yourself in the way you need to in your own life either. A lot of times it's all too easy to put other people's needs in front of ourselves and our own needs and to focus on our significant others, our kids, or everything else going on in life and not really show up for ourselves or for our own businesses. So I want you to take a few minutes today and spend some time journaling about these two questions and ask yourself, how can I show up better in my business? And how can I show up better for myself in my day-to-day life? Now, you might not be showing up because you might have some fears or some things going on with your mindset that are stopping you from showing up. So let's talk about what these things might be, what they might look like. Maybe you're hiding behind the fear of not making it. I was talking to somebody today, actually, about their business and what they were doing. They just kept saying things to me like, I need to do this first, or I need to get this in line, or I need to get this or that. And I just kept taking their excuses away from them and saying, no, you don't. You don't need that. Do you really actually need to do that? And then I looked at them and said, do you have any more excuses? So what excuses are you using right now to not show up in your business or your personal life? Maybe you're afraid that you're not going to make it. Maybe you're afraid that if you show up and do the things you need to do, what happens if you fail? Maybe you're afraid of failing. Maybe you're afraid of what other people are going to think if they see you just step out into the world and show up, but you don't make it. Maybe you're afraid of what other people are going to think if you go out there and you say, I am a business owner I am a legitimate photographer. This is my business. This is my career. I'm going to make a living doing this and I'm going to charge those prices because I know I need to. Maybe you're using your perfectionism as an excuse to not go out and do the things you need to do. I feel like you're listening to this going, this is me. I see you. (laughs) I know who you are. Y'all are in my coaching program. Y'all are in our Facebook group. You're on my friends list. I see you perfectionists out there. You're doing everything in your power to be perfect. And because perfection is really a fleeting idea that doesn't actually exist because nothing can ever truly really be perfect, it will never be good enough to go do what you need to do. So you use your perfectionism as an excuse not to show up in your business because it's not perfect and if you're not ready 110% of the way then why even show up and why do it and I'm here to tell you 
you're a perfectionist and you haven't heard this from me before, you're going to hear it again and again. Get out a sticky note and write the words done is better than perfect on your hand, on your computer screen, on a sticky note on your computer screen, wherever you need to put it. Remind yourself that done is better than perfect every step of the way. Because in all reality, the only way you're going to know if it's good enough is just by doing it. Because nothing will ever truly be 100% perfect because we grow, right? We have opportunities to go out there, do something, become better, become stronger. We can't sit there and say we're going to go to the gym and become a bodybuilder, but we never lift the first weight because we're worried we're going to lift the weight the wrong way. If we don't just lift the weight, we're never going to start our journey to becoming a bodybuilder. We have to take the first step. And you cannot let these fears of failure, the fears of people judging you, your fears of maybe being successful, and that whole idea of perfectionism, you cannot let those things continue to hold you back and get in your way. So over the next few weeks, we're going to talk about three ways that you can begin to really show up in your business and show up as a business owner so that people start to take notice of what you're doing. Because nobody's going to know who you are and what you do unless you are willing to show up. If I go to your social media, your personal Facebook profile, it should be glaringly, blatantly obvious. There should be neon signs that are bright and shiny that say, I am a portrait photographer. Here's what I do. And if I go to your Facebook page and there is none of that, then you're probably not showing up. You're probably hiding. If I don't meet you in public and know within the first 30 seconds who you are and what you do, you're probably not showing up. If you're sitting there and taking a million courses and learning continually over and over again, trying to get your business set up, but you haven't taken the first paying client, or maybe you're doing a million free sessions, but you haven't charged money for your portraits yet, you are not showing up in your business. You're hiding trying to get things to be perfect. You're hiding trying to make sure that everything is going to be amazing before you really put yourself out there. Because I get it. Showing up and putting yourself out there can be scary. It can be vulnerable. When you show up in your business as you, the business owner, the artist, the photographer, it's a vulnerable place to be. And it's your heart and soul and it's your passion and it's what you love. And the thought of taking what you love and you're passionate about and having people judge you or risk the possibility of failing at it is scary. Because you're putting your heart on the line when you're putting your work out there to the world. And when you say that you're a professional and you're a business owner. It can be scary and I get it. So let's really dive into these topics that we're going to talk about. And I'm going to briefly tell you what we're going to be diving into in these areas. And then we're going to talk about the first area in your business that you might not be showing up in. So we're going to talk about being present as the face of your business. Because ultimately, as you're a photographer, you are the face of your business. Unless you're on the path of building a multi-million dollar studio with multiple associates, then maybe you might not necessarily be the face, but you still are the head of your business. The second thing we're going to talk about is taking action. Are you taking the action that you need to take in your business and as a business owner? And the third thing we're going to dive into when we talk about showing up in your business is are you treating your business like a business or are you treating your business like it's just a glorified hobby? So let's talk about being present as the face of your business first. And we're going to dive into this today. Now, you need to be present everywhere you go, whether it's online, whether it's in person, whether it's on a phone call, whether it's in a Zoom meeting. Whatever it may be, everywhere you go, you need to be showing up and being present as the face and as a business owner. Now, 
I'm going to say you can't just sit there and hide behind your computer and be present as the face. You're going to have to get out. You're going to have to get out of your house. You're going to have to get outside of your comfort zone. And you're going to have to show people who you are face to face, which in this day and age is difficult. And I get it. We've all gotten really good at hiding behind our computers and showing up online. But when it comes to -to face-to-face interaction, being a person in public and interacting, it can be scary. But I'm going to challenge you to start showing up in person and not just online. I want to challenge you to show up everywhere you go, every conversation, every interaction, and make sure that you're weaving this whole idea that you are a business owner and you are a photographer into each and every interaction you have. So I have a challenge for you. Could you go to the grocery store and strike up a conversation with a stranger and tell them what you do? If not, it's time to get to work. Because you should be so wildly passionate and excited about telling each and every person about what you do in your business that you're willing to walk up to a stranger and talk to them and say, oh my goodness, your horse is beautiful. Have you ever had portraits done with your horse? I am a photographer and I photograph people with their horses. Wow, we need to do this. We should do this. Let me show you what I do. Let me talk about it. You should be willing to do that in any sort of interaction, any sort of situation, whether you're at the grocery store, whether you're at Hobby Lobby, whether you're at the gas station and you see somebody wearing breeches or you see somebody with a dog in their backseat and you're like, oh my gosh, they could be my client. You should be ready and willing to have those conversations and get outside of your comfort zone. You should start to connect and engage in every part of your life with potential customers, potential clients. Don't be afraid to bring up what you do. Mention a special project you're working on. Pull out your phone and show them your work. And also, don't be afraid to call them to action and to invite these people that you might pass cross paths with on a daily basis to walk through your door and to work with you. And you might be saying, Corinda, that sounds crazy. How am I supposed to just meet random people and talk to strangers? It's easier than it sounds. I promise. If you love what you do and you're like, I have no other option but to put myself out there into the world and just show up and be present, whether it's online or face-to-face with people, and I'm going to look for every opportunity to share what I do because I love it and I'm so wildly freaking passionate about it, that should be you. I am so wildly, I, I tell you what, like I talk to people at random places when I used to photograph weddings and babies, you can bet your butt if I saw somebody out in public that I was like, that could be my client. I was going to talk to them. I was in Hobby Lobby once and I remember talking to somebody. If I am in a parking lot and I see a car with a sticker with a horse head on the back of it, I'm going to sit in my car and be like, who is that? Or I'm going to go into the store and look for the person that looks like they ride horses. And I'm going to be like, can I bump into this person in the store? And I know it sounds a little crazy, but like, it's really just about making it a part of your life because your business is your life. It's your livelihood. It's your career. It's your passion. It's all of those things. And you should be so ready, willing, and excited about the idea of telling each and every person you meet and cross paths with about what you do that you don't hesitate to share what you do with them and say, hey, here I am. Here's what I can do for you. Let's do it. But we can't just like cross paths with them, rush shoulders with the person. We have to also be okay with calling them to action and inviting them to work with us. And when I say this, I'm going I'm to tell you this tip. If you hand somebody a business card, they're going to throw it away. But if instead you say, oh my goodness, let's connect, let me get your information, let me follow you on Instagram, find you on Facebook, send me your phone number, let me get your phone number and I'll give you a call when I'm in the office and we can talk more. Then you're taking it into your own hands. If you hand over a business card to somebody in public, you're just giving them permission to throw your name in the trash. You have to take these interactions into your own hands and be proactive about them. Tell me this, like I'm guessing if you're a photographer and you're listening to this podcast, you love what you do. 
And you believe that each and every person in this world needs what you do in their life. So if you're not telling the people that you meet and the people that you cross paths with and the people you interact with what you do and why you do it, you're missing the mark big time. You should be shouting it from the rooftops because people aren't going to know what you do and why you do it unless you tell them. Now, if you're an introvert and you're listening to this, you're probably cringing, so I'm going to address my introverts here. You're going to have to be brave. Believe it or not, I'm an introvert. You might not know this. If you follow me, I am very much an introvert. I am an introvert who has the skills and the knowledge and the tools from learning and studying out of necessity how to be an extrovert and how to interact and engage with strangers. But I've had to learn. And it's a skill that you too can learn if you're an introvert. But honestly, if you're an introvert, I'm going to say most introverts actually do enjoy conversations with people one-on-one. So if you can just open up the door to that one-on-one conversation, it's going to change everything. And the biggest tip I can give you to interacting with people one-on-one is pay them a compliment, guys. Who doesn't want a compliment? If you're a dog photographer and you see somebody with a dog, oh my gosh, your dog is so precious. Oh my gosh, his eyes are so gorgeous. Wow, he's stunning. If you're a horse photographer, oh my gosh, I love your breeches. They're so cool. They're so flattering. Where did you get your breeches from? Oh my gosh, those cowboy boots are amazing. Where are they from? What brand are they? If you see somebody in public, oh my gosh, your earrings are stunning. Where did you get those? Or Oh my gosh, your necklace. Oh my gosh, your hair. Do you know how many times people stop me and talk about my hair? And I'm like, heck yeah, my hair is amazing. Thanks, I appreciate it. And I can have conversations with strangers all day long because they open the door about my hair and I can go with that. But it doesn't have to be that way. It can be the reverse, right? I can compliment other people on something and open up that door for conversation. Be okay with showing up as a person in your business. If I visit your Facebook tomorrow or your Instagram page, even your personal page, it better ooze from your social media too. So if you are sitting there scrolling aimlessly on social media, stop it. Stop aimlessly scrolling. That is not showing up in your business or for yourself because it's a waste of time. Start scrolling with intention. Use social media with intention to show up as the photographer, the business owner, right? You could be using that time that you're aimlessly scrolling to interact and engage deliberately with your potential client. You could be using that time that you're scrolling through social media to pay attention to the who's, the important events people are attending, the activities that your potential clients or your past clients are involved in or the things they're doing with their lives so that you know where you can show up because your clients are there. Use your social media with intention just as much as you use your everyday public things that you do in your life with intention as a business owner. If your social media doesn't ooze and show your work and show your passion and your heart and soul behind what you're doing, start showing up there. Start sharing your work on your personal page. Start talking about what you do and why you love it. Now, this doesn't mean you need to show up and talk about the woes of being a business owner and how undervalued you are and how much you have to charge because it's so much work. No, show up and say, here's what I do. Here's the story. Here's the journey. You need it too in your life. Do it with intent. Hey, look at me. I'm this awesome photographer. You need me in your life. And honestly, some of the showing up is you have to believe it. You have to believe that you're worthy. You have to believe that people want you. You have to believe that your work is good. And I'm here to tell you, like, your work is good. If you can take a picture of a person or the person and their animal or their animals or whatever it may be that's in focus, properly exposed, it's good enough. People don't know if it's like not an award-winning image that could win print competition. They don't know. They don't care. They just see a beautiful portrait of them and their family or them and their animals or their horse or their dog, right? So you are good enough. If you're not showing up and being present as a photographer, and as the face of your business, 
in your day-to-day interactions and in your online interactions because you're afraid you're not good enough? Just start to believe that you are good. And I I know I can just say, just start to believe you're good. Who am I to say that, right? But honestly, the first step is into starting to accept and love who you are as an artist and love what you create and know that it is good enough. And know that it will become better over time. That's okay. It will get better over time. But it doesn't need to be like the most perfect thing in the world for you to just show up and to put yourself out there and be present. So I'm going to ask you, does everybody in your circle know without a doubt what you do? Does everyone in your circle know why you do it? Do your friends, do your family members, do, do your closest friends and family members know that you are a professional photographer and you have a legitimate business and people pay you money? Or do they say, oh, it's just a hobby because you're showing up like it's a hobby, like you're not really showing up at all because it's just a hobby. Or are you showing up and being present as the face of your business? It's really what I want you to think about. You should go places. You should show up in public situations and people should say, that's who that is. I'll never forget the first time that this happened to me. It was, I don't know, seven years ago. I was doing weddings and babies at the time, and my husband and I were at Chili's. We were getting dinner, and there was a wait, and we sat at the bar. And I had a phone call from a bride come in, and I was like, hey, Austin, I got to go take this phone call. And I walked outside and went out inside and talked to this bride. And I was gone for quite a while. I left my poor husband in Chili's to fend for himself. And when I got back inside and I sat back down at the bar, The bartender says, hey, aren't you Corinda? Aren't you the wedding photographer? And I was like, did he put you up? She goes, no, no, no. I follow you. I know who you are. I followed you for a few years. Your stuff is beautiful. It's amazing. You photographed like some people that I know and I followed your work and I've always followed you. And like, I just, when I saw you sit down, I knew your face from somewhere and it took me a minute to put pieces together, but I realized you're that photographer. And it was like, in that moment, I knew that I was doing something right. I knew that I had been showing up in a way that people were taking notice of who I was. And people knew what I was doing and that I was legitimate and that I was for real in my business. Around that same time, I think probably in the same year, my husband had a coworker whose daughter was getting married. And I remember he said, yeah, we were talking about wedding photographers. (laughs) And we were talking about looking for wedding photographers and we were thinking about Corinda, but we know like she's a really big deal and people pay her a lot of money to photograph their wedding. So we're not sure if we could hire her. And I was just like, that's funny. That's cool. That's crazy that some man who has a grown child knew that I was a legitimate photographer, that I photographed weddings and that I was expensive and it was a big deal to work with me. And I was like, I'll take that. Even though that sounds weird to say, yeah, I'll take this whole idea that people have created this persona of who I am in my business, that I am exclusive and I am expensive, but that's okay because in that they know I'm legitimate. In that they weren't going to call me or say to my husband, Hey, do you think Corinda could come photograph my daughter's wedding? Like, how much would she charge? No, they were like, Corinda's a legitimate business owner, and we're going to respect her, and we know that she's a big deal, and we know that she charges her clients a lot of money. We're not sure if we can work with her, but maybe we should talk to her and see. And that was a cool experience to realize. If you're showing up the right way as the face of your business, you too will start to have these interactions. And when you first have those interactions, it's going to click and you're going to be like, heck yes. One of my coaching clients, Jamie, we were actually talking about this recently. And she was like, it's really crazy because I talk to people and they say, oh, yeah, I know who you are. Like, yeah, of course we know who you are. We've seen your work. We follow you. We followed you for a while. If you start to get that type of reaction from people, that's a good sign. Your closest friends and family 100% should know. 
that should be the first step. If they don't know that, then that's a problem. But then when people outside of your circle of friends and family start to know and recognize and know who you are as your a business owner, that's when you're like, ooh, something is happening the right way here. So what do you need to do to take this information from today and to start showing up? To show up as the face, whether it's in person or online. What are you going to do differently this week to show up? I want you to sit down and think about three things that you can do this week to really just show up, be intentional, and be the face of your business and be present in your business. This doesn't mean you have to make it about you. Make it about your story and your journey, but in a way that connects to your clients. I don't show my face a whole lot in my business. Sometimes I do, but not all the time. Once in a while I do. And when I do, it creates really great results and gets really great interaction. I'm not like posting pictures of myself on my business page and be like, hey, here I am. But every once in a while I do. And I share a snippet into my life. And I share a snippet into who I am. And people are excited to get that and see that. But there's ways to do this and to show up without just being like, Here's my face. Check it out. Use your why. Go back to the podcast episodes about finding your why, figuring out what's unique about you and your business. Lean into that. Lean into that in your interactions in your everyday life. Lean into that in your interactions in social media. Lead with your why. Be present. Show up. And if you are currently living in the house like a hermit and you don't get out and you're living in your safe little bubble, I'm going to take this one step further for you. Find a way to get out at least once a week. Literally, it could be the grocery store. Maybe it's you go out to an event and you walk around and you just talk to some strangers. Get out of your bubble. Get out of your circle. Start to meet new people. Start to engage. Start to interact. Be present. And that in itself is going to make ripples in your business. And it's going to make ripples for getting people through your door. And it's going to make ripples in your marketing because you're no longer relying on just posting on social media and scrolling aimlessly. After you've listened to this episode, send us a DM, post in the Facebook group, Photography Business Tune-Up, and let us know what three things you're going to do this week to show up in your business. And then come back next week. And we're really going to dig into taking action and what it looks like to take action in your business as a business owner and how you can start to take action in your business. Keep an eye out because we are also going to be sharing details about an event we're hosting in March soon. And keep an eye out there for those details and make sure you grab your seat to our event that we're going to host in March. It's going to be really good. I'm not ready to release all of the golden nuggets yet about what it's about but just keep an eye out and make sure that you're ready to grab your spot to that whenever we do announce this training that we're going to do in march it's going to be so good and i cannot wait to see some of your faces there live on that event so we can get to know each other and just see you as a real person instead of just a listener on the podcast i hope you'll all have a great week i hope you can use this information to start to show up and be present in your business and i cannot wait to hear your takeaways from this episode